ओके सो एंथ्रोपिक रिसेंटली रिलीज स्किल्स फॉर क्लाउड कोड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू सम पीपल इट्स इवन बिगर दैन एम सी पी वेल विल हैव टू सी दैट आई बिन टेस्टिंग इट आउट फॉर लास्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज एंड डिगिंग इन टू हाउ इट वर्क एंड वेयर इट शाइंस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई शेयर एवरी थिंग दैट आई लर्न सो फार एंड विल कवर द कोर आइडिया बिहाइंड क्लाउड स्किल्स how it compares to sub agents and projects in fact i have created an entire chart to understand that i'll share it with you how to build your own custom skills context management using skills and finally we'll wrap it up with a hands on example so let's dive in and figure out what cloud skills are all about according to anthropic you can think of skills as custom onboarding materials that lets you package expertise making cloud a specialist on what matters most to you simply put skills are like folders they contain instructions scripts and resources that the agent can use to perform specific task for example if you are using cloud code to create some gifs for slack you probably follow the same steps every time write instruction provide examples repeat the whole process over and over again now what if you could bundle all these instructions examples inside a gif file and upload it to cloud code and reuse it whenever you need so all you need to do is to go to cloud settings capabilities and in here you have skills available as preview so either you can upload a new skill which we are going to see in detail as we move ahead in this video or you can use some built in skills as well some of the examples can be creating an algorithmic art creating uh, brand guidelines and stuff like that so similarly you have skills for building mcp server and even there's a skill that you can use uh, to create new skills we are going to see that as well so uh, in here we already have a skill called uh, slack gif creator so let's enable that and this should give you an idea of like what exactly a skill can do for you so let's try that in chat and it says that hey cloud i just added the slack gif creator skill can you make something amazing with it so let's see how it goes so now cloud is uh, reading all the documentation for the skill and it has decided to create a bouncing rotating star with sparkle particles so let's see how it goes Okay so this is what it has created for us it's a fairly simple example but i'll show you how you can use skills to automate any repeatable workflow that you use every day now a question might arise why do we even need skills when we already have projects mcp and sub agents well to answer that it's important to understand a bit more about skills how they're created and where exactly they fit in so let's walk through that first so currently you are looking at the overall architecture of how a cloud agent works an agent can be equipped uh, with different skills and uh, the skills then can be copied to the agent's virtual machine now a skill is basically a directory that contains a skill.md file basically some instruction about how you can accomplish a particular task along with that it can have some resources it can have some scripts that are important for the agent to accomplish that particular task right so all of these are going to be copied to agent's virtual machine and then the agent can use that now it's important to note where does mcp fit in here well mcp is still an integral part of your agent's architecture for tool calling and connecting to external services whereas skill is more like a set of instruction resources and nuances how you can accomplish a particular task so they basically complement each other making the agent even more robust and stronger so a natural question now is what is so special about these skills and how does cloud decide which skill to actually use to answer that let's understand the anatomy of a skill so a skill is nothing but a simple markdown file it starts with a yaml front matter right so it's a brief description about the skill like what it is supposed to do i'll tell you the reason like why all of this division is being done then it is followed by a markdown description of what exactly the skill is supposed to do so this basically is the actual body or the content of the skill that uh, tells more about uh, what you can use this skill for along with that the markdown file can have references to additional resources or documents since a skill has full capability to have its own examples own documentation own code files that it can execute to accomplish a particular task so in case like uh, if the entire context gets very longer you can easily you know create these uh, reference file resources or code scripts that can be used by the skills and they can be referenced directly inside the markdown file now you must be thinking why do we need to do all of this imagine you have got several skills available and a new task comes in so instead of the lm loading every skill in full along with their metadata 
which would bloat the entire context, it only loads the front matter description. The front matter description is something that we saw here. So it briefly tells the agent that, okay, this is the particular skill that matches with the task at hand. And once that happens, when we actually trigger or load the skill, then we are going to, you know, load the entire markdown or the entire content of that skill. Followed by that, as the skill is being executed or as the task is being executed, on the need basis, we are going to load all the resources like text files, scripts, and data. So although design-wise, it's fairly simple, but it's really powerful when it comes to managing larger context. Now that you understand what skills are, and before we jump into a hands-on example of uh, building our own skills, it's good time to go over some of the key differences between skills, projects, and sub-agents. So I've created this table for you, which I'm going to attach below as well. But if I quickly summarize the fundamental difference uh, between these three, skills are reusable procedures that load can automatically invoke when a relevant task is encountered. While projects are workspaces that you choose to keep related files and conversation organized in one place. And lastly, sub-agents are separate instances of Claude that can handle specific subtasks independently, each focusing on its own piece of work without mixing things up, and each has its own context that is self-managed. And another key difference is how these threes are invoked. So skills are automatically invoked uh, by Claude code based on the task and projects are manually selected by user. So they go into a project and do whatever the conversation or whatever the task that they are trying to do inside that. And sub agents are something that are invoked by the main Claude agent to delegate and assign a sub task. So I hope this clarifies like why skills exist and where exactly they fit in where we already have projects and sub agents. Now let's jump into the demo and it's time to build our own skill and learn how we can use it with either Claude code or Claude desktop. Okay, so now I'm inside my cursor ID and we are going to see how you can build your own custom skills and use it with either Cloud Code or Cloud Desktop. So if you are inside Cloud Code, I mean, it would hardly matter how you create the skills. It's just that the interfaces are different. So if you are inside Cloud Code, uh, we already know that uh, the dot .cloud folder has uh, agents, commands, and uh, similarly, you can create a folder for skill. And inside that, you, you know, you can add as many skills as you want. So let's look at this one, which is Menim visualization. And uh, every skill has to have a skill.md file. And uh, this is what we have. And we already understood uh, the anatomy of how to create a skill. It should start with a YAML front matter, which is basically a very small description of what the skill can do. And this is something that is always loaded into context to understand whether this skill has to be invoked or not, instead of you know loading everything uh, inside the context window and bloating it up. So this is how the context is being managed by Cloud Code. And uh, then uh, it has uh, a markdown structure or the actual body of the skill which contains uh, all the instruction about what it can do. So some of you might already know that Manim is basically a library to create three blue, one brown like uh, uh, mathematical animations. So we have created uh, a skill for that bundled all the resources and everything that one needs to, or the agent needs to create similar visualization. We'll see a hands-on demo of how it works as well. And along with that, uh, if you have some additional resources that you want to bundle together with the skill, then you can provide references to those inside this skill.md file. So in our case, we have uh, these uh, scripts.examples.py, so which is being referred here in the skill.md, and we have some references to mathematical objects file, so which is here. So these are basically some of the basic mathematical objects that are going to be used by our library or, uh, or used by our skill. And along with that, we have also provided some standard examples uh, of uh, how one can create or use uh, Manim for creating this visualization. So you can see some of the examples here. There's an example for equation. There's an example for uh, constructing graph and stuff like that. So these are going to be the references that the agent can use whenever a new task is uh, encountered and it can pick some ideas from here. Now that uh, you have your skill ready, you can directly invoke it uh, by saying that, okay, let's say create uh, a sine wave animation for me using the Manim with skills. So it's fairly simple to do that, but I think it's, it would be more fun if we try to use it with Cloud Desktop. And uh, let's try to do that. So once you have created the skill, you can you know uh, just compress it uh, in form of a GIF file, go to Cloud Code and uh, so once you're inside the cloud, you just need to go to settings, K 
capabilities and inside that we have uh, the skills here. So you can directly upload uh, one of the skills here. So let's grab one of the skills that we created. I already zipped the man in width skill that we have and uh, I just need to drop it here. So since I've already uploaded this skill, uh, either I can replace it or just cancel it. And uh, since uh, this skill is already activated here, it's time to you know quickly try it out in chat. So let's do that. So it says that, hey Claude, uh, I just added the man in width skill. Can you make something amazing with it? So let's see what it does for us. Okay, so it has uh, decided to create a Euler's formula for us. So let's see how it goes. And as you can see, uh, it is trying to install Manim, which is the library that is going to be used. So basically your skill can encapsulate all the resources, instruction, along with the, the code scripts and uh, instruction on how to install them. All of that can be encapsulated or bundled in inside your skill. So which we have done and uh, the agent is uh, trying to leverage all of that data. All right, so it has finally finished uh, creating this uh, visualization for us and uh, let's open it in quick time and uh, see how it works. All right, so let's see that. So, I mean, this is pretty much uh, what we see in uh, many or the three blue one brown YouTube videos and uh, nice. So this is some really nice animation. Now, the thing is, this skill helps you create these manim diagrams again and again. Like you do not have to repeat yourself with providing all the instruction and everything that uh, uh, the agent would need to, you know, accomplish these tasks. So it's uh, just like you have to sit once, put down all the instruction about any task that you're trying to do and uh, bundle in all the resources, scripts that are required there and you just upload it to Cloud Code or Cloud Desktop and uh, you can use the same workflow again and again. So before we wrap up, uh, I quickly wanted to show you one more thing. So let's say how you must think about creating your own skill. So what you can do is uh, you just need to think about like what are the tasks that you are or what are the workflow that you are using every day and uh, how you can automate them, right? So every time maybe you're using Cloud Desktop or Cloud Code, you must be writing a bunch of instruction and all, right? So let's say if I want to, you know, create a skill for uh, writing YouTube scripts. So Cloud Desktop has uh, a built-in skill and this skill is known as a skill creator skill. So basically it has all the guidelines on how you can create your own custom skills. So let's try to use that in chat. Right, so you can start with some bare minimum instruction. It can uh, always keep on asking you a question to refine what you require the skill to be. So now uh, it is trying to clarify more about what the skill has to be. So what your typical video style is. So whether it's educational product reviews and stuff like that. So let's say it's uh, educational explainers. And the next thing is, uh, so include all of these. We'll say include all of the following. And uh, so now it says that uh, it has everything that it needs to, you know, create this skill for us. Right, so it has uh, created the skill for us and we can also ask it to, you know. So we are asking it to, you know, uh, zip this and uh, something that can be used similar to how we uploaded the man image skill to our cloud code, right? And uh, I can just download it from here and uh, upload it to uh, my existing set of skills in the inside Cloud Desktop and use it over and over again. So it's just a fairly simple example. Like if you are trying to you know, uh, build something of your own, then you can provide additional examples and some more, uh, let's say, code files, uh, reference docs and all. So all of that can be done. It only takes uh, you know, a bit of hard work in the beginning, but once you're done with this, I think this is something that can save you tons of hours because you would never have to repeat yourself. So with that, uh, we have come to the end of this video and uh, thank you so much for sticking around till the end and uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.